everybody, welcome back to Hannah's Happenings. Today we are going to be making one of these beautiful paintings. So this is not an ordinary painting. This is a paint drip painting. I don't know if that's what you want to call it because it's not really paint drip, it's more like paint blow. So you can really call it whatever you want, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make it. So let's get to the video. start off here are the supplies you need here I have a couple water for my paintbrushes and then my colors I have blue teal pink gold and yellow and also a big thing of white because I use white a lot we also have different containers for each of the paints so I can water them down and then we have a cup of water that so I can put the water into the containers to water down the paint. We also have a bowl to elevate the painting and then a tray with some newspaper to protect it so it doesn't get all messy and also a blow dryer so we can blow the paint around on the canvas. Now I'm mixing up my colors. I put my white in and then add some water. Using the water makes it easier for the blow dryer to spread it around because if it's too watery or if it's too thick, if it's too thick, it's not going to blow. And if it's too watery, it's going to blow too much. And then all the colors are just going to fuse together. That's what happened with this painting. So that's why I wanted to redo it. After your colors are all mixed up, you can start pouring it onto your canvas. Um, it helps to layer the colors and not just like lay them out but put them on top of each other so then they mix and it also can make a really cool bubbly effect with the blow dryer. Here's another painting I'm doing because I screwed up on it because I made the paint too watery so it just ran down the side of the painting so we're going to redo it. I have my paints mixed and now I'm going to lay all the colors on. I like using white with all of my paintings just because I have a lot of white so it helps to fill in any other gaps that I don't have. And I just lay it on there and blow dry it and it, it turned out really pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, the paintings turned out really good and I hope you guys can use this to make some of your own beautiful paintings. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. See you next time.